What's up, everybody? Thank you again for joining me on a Supplement Sunday, a day of the week that we have made up because we can do that. And it's fallen somewhere between a Saturday and a Sunday where we're getting together. We are going over what I was never taught in pharmacy school. And we're gonna learn together the benefits of supplementing our diets, of supplementing to get our best health. So let's get right into it. What are we talking about today? We are talking about the broccoli sprout. The sprout, not the mature plant. So the sprouts are actually harvested between four and five days old. We're talking sprouts here. Now, what makes that special is when they cold press these sprouts and oil is extracted and this oil is rich in what we are after. It's rich in antioxidant vitamins. So things such as vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin Bs, vitamin K, and some omegas in these oils. So uricic, oleic, alpha linoleic and linoleic acids. They're all present in really good quantities in this extracted oil. And another thing about this oil, we think of oils as being greasy in nature. This is not. It's a very light oil that is not greasy. It's absorbed very well into the skin with just a nice skin feel. All right, let's move on. Let's get into how this thing works. Well, this is where it gets a little tricky, so buckle up. So these little four to five day old sprouts are rich in a compound called glucoraphanin. Glucoraphanin. Now this glucoraphanin has to be converted into sulforaphane. Did you get all that? And this sulforaphane is what we are after. This sulforaphane is what is magical for our health picture. Now let's get into the fun fact. <laughs> this is gonna get a little deeper here now. In order for this process, this conversion to take place, the plant has to be damaged in sort, okay? So whether it's by cutting it, chopping it, digesting it by chewing it. So this damage releases an enzyme called myrosinase, myrosinase. Oh gosh, isn't this fun? Okay, so when this conversion happens, that is what activates the sulforaphane. This is a lot of words <laughs> and I'm confusing myself. And this sulforaphane is 80 to 100 times more prevalent in the sprout than in the mature plant. In the sulforaphane, is huge in antioxidant properties. Hmm, and if you've been paying attention at all, you should take note of that. All right, now it's time to talk about what this thing really does. What does this do in our body? Well, because we've already covered that it has these antioxidant vitamins in there. We all know by now, I hope, if you've been paying attention at all, how important antioxidants are to our health picture because they have everything to do with decreasing our oxidative stress. So things like anti-cancer properties, and this occurs in test tube studies and in animal studies, which kind of explains why when we do even population studies on those who eat cruciferous vegetables, which include broccoli, which we're talking about, or broccoli sprouts, or cauliflower, or kale, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, these types of vegetables are considered cruciferous. And the population base that consumes more of these vegetables do have a lower risk of cancer. Also because of these antioxidants, it has everything to do with our heart health. And that is because, again, it is decreasing our inflammation and it's decreasing our blood pressure. Now let's go back up to that vitamin C again. We know that that has immune potential, right? It has immune health properties and protects our immune system. It also is effective in the diabetic realm. So type two diabetics are gonna benefit from this as well because this sulforaphan has been shown to decrease a fasting blood sugar level and also an A1C. And by improving that A1C number, that is what long-term stability is all about when we talk about blood sugars. Another thing that this does, it decreases UV skin damage from the sun. Case in point, a 2007 study that was done found that sulforaphane upregulated enzymes in our system that protect our skin against sun damage. So let's segue into the cosmetic realm now. So when we go over with this broccoli sprout and all the nutrients inside of that little sprout, it's got great moisturizing and hydration benefits for our skin and for our hair. And it won't clog your pores. 
And that, of course, all comes from these beneficial fatty acids, these omega acids that are in it. Another thing, it provides retinol. Now, retinol in the form of the vitamin A is gonna be a milder form of retinol for gentle exfoliation properties. Keeping our barrier of our skin fresh without having the side effects like a traditional retinol. So the irritation, the skin peeling, the burning, the redness, all the things. This vitamin A also has anti-aging support to our skin. And this vitamin A, along with the linoleic acid in this broccoli sprout oil, has everything to do with promoting ceramide synthesis. And ceramides on our skin are what helps with that protective layer, that outer layer of our skin. And of course, the vitamin C is gonna help you have that healthy glow to your skin. So all in all, it has everything to do with protecting our skin barrier, keeping that moisture and hydration in, giving us a gentle exfoliation and a glowing appearance to our skin. And of course, it does have those soothing properties as well, just because it is so protective in nature for it. All right, now let's talk about some precautions. Here we go again, there aren't any. I mean, if you have a food allergy, that may be of some concern, but just because you don't like broccoli, that has nothing to do with you getting the benefits out of this oil. All right, now let's talk plexus. The best part, let's talk plexus. Well, this all started out to be on Joyome because of course the broccoli oil, which you have probably figured out by now, the sprout oil, is in the Joyome line, it has everything to do with keeping our skin healthy. So here's the Joyome, the AM and the PM serums. Pretty easy, AM, PM, there's your skincare routine. None of this craziness like I have seen on YouTube and other places where it's this cream and that cream and it's overwhelming. It's so easy and it's so effective and it's filled with nutrients that our skin needs and our skin thrives on. Now a second thing I found this broccoli seed extract to be in is the active. It's actually in the S7 proprietary blend. So active, now available in three flavors. <laughs> like you didn't love the originally not fright. But the active has also got the broccoli sprout extract in there. So everything to do with our health picture. Another one, the greens. And you probably were thinking that was coming too. So when we talk about our greens, yes, there is broccoli in the fermented state in here. And I think the greens are such an excellent addition to your diet, whether you eat good or not. And lastly, but never leastly, the Immune Plus. That stuff is amazing. The Immune Plus, and again, I don't know why they named it Immune Plus. They should have named it. Everybody needs this. It just has everything to do with our overall health picture. So it's no surprise that this sprout concentrate would also be present in the Immune Plus. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this week on our broccoli sprout and all the benefits found within that little tiny four to five day sprout. Now I'm gonna link the videos that I've done on these products in the description box. So if you have not checked that out and you're interested in the product as a whole, please check those out. Also, I'm gonna share my link in the description box. So if Plexus is new to you, if you have not had the pleasure of getting on the Plexus train yet and figuring out what a plant-based supplement can do for your health picture, let's figure it out for you. Let's get you on the Plexus train. So thanks again for joining me today, you guys. So until next time, cheers to your health and happiness.